you see people you can argue till you're blue in the face and you will not solve the problem the only way this problem can be fixed is if people get out and write legislature and laws to prevent this from happening again if there was a law that states that you cannot draw your gun as a cop when someone is handcuffed or you know on the ground face down or what have you stipulations like that placed against police officers are pretty much like rules and guidelines you put rules and guidelines like that on police officers and you will not see senseless killings of accidents or from intentional killing so you say for instance there's a law states that you cannot draw your gun if a man has his handcuffs on and his hands are behind his back state this law or provision would be placed in effect but there would be loopholes placed upon this law you cannot draw your gun on a man with his hands behind his back while he's handcuffed unless he you know moves his hands from behind his back to the front or if he attempts to try to take the gun from someone but as long as the man is laying face down hands behind his back you shouldn't shoot him there should be laws for that and as a citizen it's your duty and my duty and our duty to make sure this doesn't happen to you so it don't happen to your kid my kid or someone else's kid but if there's no laws in place to protect the citizens from the police and the police are here to protect the citizens then how can we ever get this fixed how can we stop mistakes human mistakes from happening you take a gun out of someone's hand, you put a taser in someone's hand, you still have a person laying face down on the ground. Why would you taser someone who has already been subdued? Why would you try to shock somebody who's already got a foot on his neck? You see, it's judgment. Humans make mistakes. And if I, as a human being, must pay for my mistakes, as a police officer or officer of law, if I made a mistake and killed someone and it, you know, I was wet work or whatever and it didn't have to happen, then there should be repercussions. You know, we have CEOs of major companies stealing money from employees, bilking companies. What do they get? They get pardons by presidents. You know what I mean? This police officer made a grave mistake. And he wasn't even a real police officer. He was an armored guard. Not a police officer. Not a, a, a town police officer. A city police officer. A state police. He was a transit police officer. That's different than city, state, county government he's one step up from mall cop he's mall cop with a gun couldn't cut it as a real police officer so he had to become a mall cop with a gun you people out there must understand when you want to do some bad to somebody you're not going to do it in front of everybody so this was a mistake but as a regular citizen of the United States of America, I must pay for every mistake I make. If I get in the car, drunk driving, I can do more than two years if I killed somebody drunk driving. You know, if I accidentally killed somebody operating a machine at work, I might get more than two years. They're thinking about offering the guy more than two years for spilling the oil in the Bay Area in the Costco Busant incident. As you've heard all day on TV, Michael Vick got four years for killing a dog. To be given two years for murdering somebody, an unarmed citizen, shooting them in the back or the side or shooting them while they were being subdued by another officer, shooting somebody while somebody is holding them down. If two men are holding a woman down and another man rapes her, is all three men 
accused of rape? Or is it an accident that this man raped her while she was being held down? It's not intention. We don't know if this guy intent. Who's going to intentionally try to kill somebody while they're at work in front of other people? You can intentionally want to torture somebody and teach everybody watching a lesson. And I think the torturing of Oscar Grant was more hurting to me than the murder of Oscar Grant. The fact that somebody can just taser you and shock you and electrocute you when they feel to because you are verbally resisting arrest. This judge did set a precedent in this case. He did convict a, a police officer for the first time in California history to serve some time for killing someone. It's a step in the right direction, but a slide down the slope. In 2010, we should be way above this. If everybody is accounted for their actions, then these actions let, were let fall to the wayside. He's like, it was an accident. Yes, I can accidentally run over somebody in my car and get more than 10 years. See what I'm saying? So let's take the fact that he killed somebody out of the equation. What does the Geneva Convention say about citizens being tortured before they're arrested? He wasn't arrested. He wasn't under arrest. What was he under arrest for? It's a whole bunch of things that the public don't know. If I'm misspeaking, let me know. You can easily sit down and, and put video links to other videos that shows I'm wrong on this video. But you people who typing on this page, arguing this and that and this and that and arguing this, yes, it was an accident. I'm the first to say it was a mistake. But as a citizen of the state of California and the United States of America, when I make mistakes, I got to pay for them. And just because I'm black and you people out there looking at this video, you automatically assume I'm a criminal. So I'm a criminal making mistakes, then you're wrong. See what I'm saying? Do you understand that? A lot of these people who will be watching this video is going to watch the video based on the title of the video and not the merit of the video itself. You understand what I'm saying? Torture is torture. That's illegal. You get more than five years for torture in America. False imprisonment. He was rightfully in prison. They were being detained for questioning. He was wrongfully killed. There's no reason for somebody to be tasered while they're face down on the ground. Get down! There's no reason for that. At all. There's no reason to be shot in the back either. Even if it was a mistake, time needs to be served so mistakes can be prevented. If I can accidentally kill somebody and there's no problem, then the accidents mean the people mean nothing. You know what I mean? If accidentally killing somebody you don't get in trouble for it, then life means nothing. You understand what I'm saying? So, you folks out here fighting and arguing on the bottom of this video, and this ain't even a good one, I don't think. You need to rechange what you're doing and regroup and think about it. The crime that was committed was a good crime against everybody, not just blacks, but a crime against everybody. Because now you could be mistakenly killed while being pulled over. And this goes for whites too. And you know, I, I mentioned earlier in the video, white people need to go watch the movie Easy Rider. Because you might not get shot because you